In the initial stages of radio communications development, spark oscillators of decaying signals served as a major type of high-frequency signal sources. The quenched cap is the most important element of such spark oscillators. The quenched cap consists of six pairs of plates with metal edges for cooling. The plates are attached to three porcelain rods. When AC current is connected to the quenched cap, we can adjust voltage in such a way so as to obtain 1000 sparks per second, that is one spark per half cycle. The transformer converts the supplied primary AC current 150 volts, volts at 50 cycles into the high voltage AC current 6000 to 8000 volts supplied to the spark spacer. The switch is located in the primary current circuit and allows closing and opening according to the tempo of the Morse alphabet. The aerial amp ampermeter is connected to the ground wire. It is used to detect when the resonance of the antenna with the closed circuit occurs based on the maximum deviation or turning point. The rotary converter consists of an electric motor connected to the network and directly attached to the AC generator by a clutch. The generator produces 500 cycle AC current at about 150 volts for power supply of the primary transformer winding. One of the poles of the spark space is connected to the network buried in the ground. During the first and second decades of the 20th century, the structure was the main type of radio transmitters that followed all the way from laboratory studies to become a real communication device used throughout the world. The main reason why these devices have gradually lost their popularity was the low accuracy in selection of the radiated signal length and the interference in the entire spectrum of the radio frequency band generated by the main element of this transmitter, the quenched gap.